Hello everyone, Raptor X here, as you can see I'm back in FTV, ready for another episode. Uh, now, I've uh, done a little bit more tinkering, I guess you could say, with uh, this power uh, armor mod. I guess it's called the modular power armor. Um, but yeah, that's not really the point. Um, I mentioned that I wanted to get uh, a little bit more upgrades and uh, stuff like that. I didn't really want to do it on camera because it took a lot of time, and I pretty much spent all last episode doing that. Um, so I've been messing it off camera with uh, the upgrades, seeing what they do, and um, kind of what I should upgrade and what I shouldn't. Um, now, I also built this thing, the power tool. Um, I guess I'll show you the recipe. It's not really that hard to make. Uh, I forgot to make this last time. It was just two pieces of iron and some wiring. It's pretty simple. It's uh, what I have in my hand right here. Uh, it pretty much acts as a weapon and kind of like tools. It's kind of like a multi-tool, I guess you could call it. Depending on what upgrades you put on it. Now, um, I guess I could show you in a table, but it would take too long. Um, if you just hold shift, you can see what modules I have installed in here. I have the shovel, the pickaxe, and the diamond drill upgrade. Now, the diamond drill upgrade pretty much just uh, enables me to mine obsidian. Um, I don't think... I'm, I'm pretty sure, actually, it doesn't uh, influence the speed. The the one that you can uh, customize the speed is with the shovel and the pickaxe upgrade. You can, like, overclock it. Uh, obviously, it consume a little bit more power, uh, depending how much overclocked you have it. Uh, the shovel, I have it at half uh, speed, mainly because um, it was already quick uh, without overclocking, pretty much. But full over overclock, it was a little, uh, actually, it was way too fast. Uh, it, it almost made it hard to control <laughs> to be able to decide where to mine. It would just kind of destroy everything in, in its path. Uh, so I just put it at half. The pickaxe, though, it's completely uh, overclocked um, at maximum, I guess. Um, I did phase out my diamond pick, uh, which was a uh, pretty beast, it had some nice enchantments on it, but it was getting pretty expensive to mine, um, because I was doing a lot of mining today, and that's because I pretty much ran out of iron, uh, I was down to half a stack of iron, uh, after all the upgrades, uh, I'll show you guys, I, I put in the armor here, um, but yeah, pretty much ran out of iron, so I've been, I spent a little bit over an hour, probably an hour and a half mining, and I actually had to, up, um, fix the, the pick twice uh, put a, a, two diamonds on it so it was pretty much using all the levels that I was getting while mining because you get plenty of levels when, while you're mining and uh, some diamonds I was getting while I was mining just to fix the pick and then just didn't make sense now this on the other hand it won't de deteriorate as long as you have uh, uh, energy now I only have one battery one elite battery which I forgot on, and you guys mentioned in the comments of the last episode that I forgot to modify in the tinker table to increase the power um, uh, the power on the battery here. I'll quickly show you guys. Um, right here. I pretty much forgot to put this thing up. I had it all the way down, so it was like at 750k. Now, oh, okay, I should, probably should have done that, which is a little bit of power. But that gives me the opportunity to go downstairs oh, and show you how to charge it. I mean, already, you guys already told me in the comments, but, uh, for those, those of you that don't know, just grab the, the boots, that's where I have my, uh, my battery, and just dump it in there. Uh, they should quickly charge up, as you can see here in the little description of the item. And uh, there we go. Now, just put these on, and you're set on power. I just gotta remember not to t turn that down again. Um, now, I also got a few more upgrades for my armor. And, uh, like on the power feet, obviously, I already had the jet boots, I'm pretty sure. The jet shock absorbers, I'm pretty sure I already had. Lead battery, I had. Iron plating, that's something new. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, I think they're called basic something. Basic plating. Yeah, it's just pretty much iron with a wiring in the middle. Now, I really want to get a lot more diamonds because it, I think it's a well worth upgrade. Uh, changing the iron, the basic one to I think it's advanced plating. Uh, let me just look for plating. Uh, see what I, what I mean here. Basic advanced plating. As you can see, it's a lot of diamonds. Each one's five, and you need four, so you need 20 diamonds just to completely deck out uh, your your armor suit, which is good because um, either way, it doesn't deteriorate. It does use up uh, some weight, and that's the main issue I'm having right now. Uh, for some of my boots, right at the, at the moment, there are 10 kilograms. Um, I'm not really sure why it's 10 kilograms. I'm pretty sure it's because of the battery. Yeah, 10 kilograms because of the battery. Um, so pretty much a lot of the things you put on here. They increase your weight, and um, with the iron plating, right now I have it disabled because I want to show you guys something in a second. But I pretty much have it disabled because the weight would just drag me down too much. Right now I'm just walking right here. This is just walking speed. 
uh, if I run, obviously it's a lot quicker. Um, and uh, yeah, hold on, I just want to finish here showing you guys what I want. The other upgrades I got, I did get the kinetic generator. I mentioned I was wanting to get last time around. Got the iron plating as well for this one. I think sprint assist, I might have had it already last time around. Um, what else? Iron plating here as well, and jetpack. Jetpack was incredibly expensive to make as far as resources. That's where I lost uh, plenty of my uh, iron here, making all the solenoids and uh, com transmuting the iron into ender pearls for the, um, the force field generator things that I needed for the, the iron thrusters. Uh, now, armor head piece. Uh, I'm, oh yeah, I've made a solar generator as well, and iron plating. Now, the combination of iron of the kinetic generator and solar upgrade thing from a helmet, that pretty much guarantees me that I don't run out of power. Now, oh, where are these guys at? I don't have any upgrades on my uh, on my power tool for melee, mainly because I'm, I'm, I'm oh, I don't want to mess with the creeper down there. Let's see if it will let me go to sleep. Oh, dang it, it won't let me go to sleep. Well, I mainly want to show you guys how pretty much I won't waste any power at all. Pretty much even if I run max speed. Now, I disabled pretty much all my armor because I want to be the lightest possible. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much how you fly. You go insanely fast, a lot faster you than creative mode. Um, pretty much the world can't even, the, my, my computer can't keep up updating all the chunks I'm traveling through. Um, and it's just a matter of just, you know, pointing in the direction and you'll be pretty much, uh, making your computer suffer trying to get all these updates of, uh, chunks. There's a lot of mobs here. Let's get out of here. I don't have any armor to be messing with those guys. So let me just get back to my base here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's kind of hard to navigate. We can't see where you're going. Uh, but yeah, I've been getting the hang of traveling with this thing. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um. I gotta do a lot more exploring around here in case I find some villages or or something interesting. I'm, I'll make sure to uh, record it. Uh, maybe I don't know. Oh, something really interesting. Otherwise, I'll just show you the loot I get from the villages. Uh, but pretty, that pretty much sums it up, really. Um, all the things I've done here. Um, so as you can see, even though I've done a lot of mining, I'm only up to what four, four stacks and a little tiny bit of iron. I used up a lot of my refined iron, but that was for something else. I made this thing. Oh my god, it's so loud. Hold on, let me just lower the volume real quick. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's just really loud for me. Um, I made the induction furnace. Um, it was a bit, a little bit different um, compared to the other series, but I, w I just wanted to get this out of the way because it wasn't that big of a deal to make. Um, I actually... If I'm not mistaken, I have to I have to make two today because I might go for the. Hmm, I'm still debating that if I should go for the industrial blast furnace or not because um it requires a lot of materials to make. Um, I'll try. I see how far I get. Now um, I don't know if I'll have enough resources for that or not. But well, I guess I'll, I'll make it. I'll show you guys how to, how, to, how I did that uh, the induction furnace. Um. Uh, well, yeah, I just needed something a little bit quicker than the, than this thing, the powered furnace. Obviously, this thing has there's no word overclock or anything like that. But uh, this one, it takes care of two items at the same time, and it's incredibly fast, especially because I have a lever behind it, so it's receiving a redstone signal, and some maximum heat. Um, now, oh, let's see, what should I get down to doing today? I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, Oh no, I'm having, I haven't quite finished just yet. Um, something that was pointed to, pointed out to me in the comments, which is something you know I really liked, because uh, at one point I believe there's probably more comments and there were views for last, uh, for yesterday's uh, episode, and that's real nice because it was, we had a little conversation, discussion I guess in the in the comments, and uh, it was very constructive. It wasn't like we're just like yelling at each other like most comments in YouTube are. Um, it was it was rather constructive, and I really appreciate you guys uh, actually taking the time and leaving comments, uh, helping each other, and so forth. Now, the main issue was that um, well, I guess it wasn't an issue. The main thing that you guys were suggesting was that I used the question mark. Now, I don't know what I've been doing lately. I usually just click here, and it gives me the outline of the item. And you guys pointed out that um, 
I should shift click the question mark. Now, what I was doing before, as you can see, oh, uh, I'm purposely putting the items inside the little buffer there. I was hitting shift question mark, and it wasn't working. And this is because I have the I had the items needed to make the uh, the items needed to make the item. I guess it's a little redundant, but um, it uh. It fits. <laughs> um, I had the items I needed in the buffer, in the little product table buffer, and I apparently have to have it in my inventory for it to work. Now, if I hold shift and hit question mark, now it works. Now, I mentioned in the comment that uh, I didn't think it was going to work in project table, or at least because I tested it out wrong, I guess. Um, so I made the, pro the crafting table, and since the crafting table doesn't have an internal buffer, it worked just fine. Um, which um, I guess I don't know. It's it's a little bit hard to tell uh, which one's best at this point because that thing is very useful, especially for me. Which uh, I will look at the recipe and then I'll forget what it was. <laughs> I have to go back and forth, and that spider is going to drive me insane. Uh, but yeah, pretty much it comes down to just not using the internal buffer when you need to make an item. Um, just kind of try to keep uh, your items in here. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's a bit of a pain now to use a project table if you want to use that, that method. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. You can't do it, just can't use the buffer. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, let's get down to actually building something. So I'm already pretty much halfway in the, into the episode and just trying to go over all the things I did behind, behind cameras, I guess. Um, right, I, I've been doing a lot of... Uh, Rubber production, I guess what you would call it. Um, that's because I want to make a few more circuits, actually. I want to grab a few of these. Uh -oh, I'll grab a stack of copper. I, should, I want to get rid of these copper, uh, regular copper things. And um, Alright, let's actually try using the, the, the system here. Even though the cable is pretty simple to make. Um, if I could just find it. There you go. There you go. So you just shift click into it and it pretty much grabs everything that it can from your inventory. And then you just have to shift click into the thing inside and bam. It gets you plenty of uh now it could also make a few of these. I'm just gonna do it this way manually this time because it has different IDs, so that's probably why it's conflicting a little bit. Um there we go. Um it's a bit om almost two stacks of cable. And uh, I apologize guys to waste more time, but I have to get rid of the spider. Ah, leader driving me insane. Even though I lower the volume. All right, let's get down here. All right, so I have plenty of cables now. I want to make a few circuits. So let's just grab some. Um, ooh, want to dump? I guess a full stack of iron, maybe. I don't know if that's too much or not. So I'm just gonna dump it in here because it's a lot quicker. Um, let's grab a bit of refined iron from here as well. I also gotta make myself an electrolyzer and a uh, centrifuge, I believe they're called. Those are all the crack tech machines I need for to extract all these powders and stuff. Get some uh, actual bars out of those powders because they're pretty much useless right now. Alright, so I got plenty of uh, that stuff. Um, just make myself a circuit. And uh, really, with this feature, it pretty much makes the whole plan system here uh, that the project table has. We can make the, you know, I think in the last series, yeah, last series I used it for pistons and uh, frames and stuff like that. I think I did. It pretty much makes them useless um, because you can just, you know, shift right click in there and I'm missing something. Uh, yep, redstone. So yeah, if it doesn't work, that's because you're missing something in your inventory. Um, so let's just do that again and bam. Um, got me 18 of these guys. Am I out of cable already? Ooh, I used up pretty much all my cable, right? I'm going to have to make a little bit more. I think I have plenty of rubber, like I mentioned. Uh, I think I'm keeping up with that stuff. Just put the rest of the sticky resin in there. Some more copper cables. And, uh, yeah, I'm running out of stuff again. Uh, some of these things are really um, demanding, I guess, as far as supplies go. So let's just get a few more of these guys in here. Uh, Sure, what the hell, I'll make the rest two stacks more cables. I should be good for this kind of uh, basic level stuff. Now, to make the 
Industrial Blast Furnace. I'll need... Where is it? Industrial Electrolyzer, Grinder, Blast Furnace. I need two induction furnaces. Um, that's where... That's why I didn't want to show you guys the recipe before, because I have to make this thing now. Um, let's see... Rolling machine. Okay, I got that. That shouldn't be too hard to make. What is this? Ferros, nickel. See, that's one thing that pisses me off about Greg Tech. So many variations. It's like, man, so just like, come on, just make up your mind and use one material. Um, I know they're trying to be flexible and all, but Jesus. Right, one thing I know I'm gonna need is a few of these plates. Um, let's see, I'll use. There, eight. So that should give me ten. Um, I need some tin as well. Grab some tin, and I need some copper. I need to make some brass. Or I, think it's, I think it's called brass. What's it called, the thing? Let's put that in there for now. Just gonna make a few here in a second. Bronze. <laughs> it's not brass, it's bronze. There you go. Close enough, I guess. Um, I just want... 10 at the moment. Could probably make a little bit more though. They're a bit of a pain in the ass to make. So I'm just gonna probably go for, I don't know, 20 maybe? Is that a little bit overkill? Could be. But these are all basic materials. Pretty much what I'm trying to make here is advanced alloy. Um, now I need to. Okay, I made a little bit extra, I guess. Now this thing should be done by now. Yep, just put that in there now. I wonder, can I use, or is it going to make some weird kind of a combination? Okay, I guess it's not going to make a weird combination, but I should probably just leave it alone here. Um, I guess I do need a little bit more of a refined iron plates. Um, I don't know if I can get an upgrade for this thing or not, but, um, oh well, I'll leave that cooking for now. I do want to pulverize some coal. That's something I definitely need. Um. That's the furnace. I don't need the furnace. I need the pulverizer. So while that's going, um, sure, probably could have probably done a little bit more prep work, but I guess this is all part of the process to make this thing. Um, could have just had it, you know, completely done. But what's the fun in that? Um, all right, so it's just no wait. That's not what I'm doing. No crap. What is that making? Standard rails, flop me. I just wasted some good refined iron plating on that. Can I revert this somehow? Let's see. Oh, that doesn't look like I'm going to be able to revert that at all. Damn it. Well, um, two, three. Let me just drop that in there. That should give me 20. Um, then I have to put the tin in there as well. So, plenty of machines here at work. Trying to get everything working. Get, get a, remember to keep on retrieving the sticky resin here. I haven't really made any system to automate that. And I really want to get around to that. But uh, my supplies are just too low to get into uh, applied energistics. I do want to do that um so keep that in mind I, I do read the comments i know a lot of you guys have su suggested that um but uh yeah my supplies are a little bit low right now so let's just quickly get another 20 in there for 10. go make myself 20 advanced alloys with that so how is this coming along almost done I'm gonna probably have to move the up. Uh, oh yeah, I did make an, uh, another difference here. I made two overclockers more um, to help with the uh, sticky resin. I have plenty. I still have a full stack left, and um, yeah, I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was two. It made two rubber per sticky resin. It turns out it's actually three per sticky resin. So I had plenty. I actually haven't gone out to grab any more sticky resin for a while because I had so much backed up in my chest here. And I uh, just kept on forgetting to actually remove the rubber once it was done. Alright, so, um, here, I don't really need the 
recipe thing up there. I just gotta make a few of these carbon fiber meshes. Um, there we go. So just grab the upgrades here. Put them here. I'll make a few of these carbon plates. Now that's only gonna give me four. Hmm. I think I have an advanced machine block here already done. Yeah, I do have an advanced machine block already done here. And a few advanced alloys, so I probably should, didn't even need that many. Um, what am I doing for coal? I'm going to leave that in there for, for a bit, just in case I need more. Um, how is this coming along? Almost there. This is done. Alright, so let's just make the... What is it called? The advanced alloys thing. Mixed metal ingot, right. 20 of these. Because I also got to compress these. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I am a little bit low on the refined iron, so let's just quickly dump half of that in here as well. I need to make myself a few machine blocks here. That's almost there. How is this coming along? I'm already up to five. I have a few in there, so I guess that all I need is the refined iron here, and that should be set. Grab a few that I have in here. I have a machine block in there. Uh, how many should I make? I want to make three, I guess. I already have two, so I'm just going to make another two here. And, um, where is this thing? Industrial blast furnace. Gotta remember to start using that a little bit more often. Gotta actually use it properly though, because uh, kind of try to skip ahead there for a second. Um, there you go. So the two. So I have three advanced machine blocks. Now I just gotta make myself a bunch of furnaces. Um, for that, I just need a bit more uh, iron. Make myself some redstone, which I do have, and some more copper. Um, even though I have bits, I'll just grab a full stack for the heck of it. Um, right, so, let's see how quickly I can make this thing now that I have pretty much everything. So I'll just make here, one, two, I don't have to keep on clicking away from here. I don't know if there's a quicker way for that. If you do know of a quicker way, make sure you let me know. Um, there we go. Two of those, <laughs> and there you go. Two induction blast, uh, two induction small uh, furnaces, whatever they're called, put rather quickly using the shift method. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, testing that out. Now I have that done. What do I need here? Um, no, that's not it. Titanium machine hole, steel machine hole, advanced machine block. Okay, so I can use an advanced machine block in there. I do have the circuits. I guess I just need to make this thing, whatever this is. Uh, some copper seems to be the constant here in the middle. Apparently I can use nickel or ferro, so I'm going to use nickel, or can I use tin? Um, let me just check here. Let's see if I can use tin here at any point. Nickel, ferros, 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 nickel. Okay, so it's either ferros or nickel. I do have a bit of these somewhere. There you go. And confirm how many of these did I make each. Okay, so I make three and I need four. Go we'll figure. So I just got to put two of each in here. Um, so let's see here. Actually, this keeps one, doesn't it? I believe it does. There you go. Because I think the last set doesn't do. I'm hoping it doesn't, because otherwise it would just be a waste. I was correct, it doesn't use the last set, because it's just, uh, I guess the recipe thing here. Um, so I should be good here, uh, as far as this thing goes. So I have one more to make. The industrial blast furnace is done. Um, well, the, the box is done. Now I need to make the casing. Just need the standard machine casing here. Um, let's see. Refined iron, that's a lot of refined iron. Aluminium plates. Now, how do I get this this type of, of aluminum? Aluminium? <laughs> shit. 
I'm pretty sure I've already looked this up. I just don't remember for the life of me. Um, I can make this stuff. Uh, that's only one way of getting this ingots, and it's with the bar itself. Uh, those black furnace with the lemon dust. That's where I got the lemon dust. That's from the box, box site, box site, whatever you pronounce that. Yep. Um, tiny piles of aluminum. Okay, so. I don't think I can make an aluminum just yet because I don't even have an advanced, uh, what is it called, uh, the industrial blast furnace. I do have a few from, that I've gotten from the box site, but I can't convert it into a bar um, because I need the industrial blast furnace. So I would just have to make a few extra of these plates. Um, now, let's quickly here, I don't want to waste too much material here, I guess. Okay, regular machine blocks. That's a lot of refined iron. I don't know if I'm going to have enough here. Um, let's see, because I need three in the bottom, three in the top. That's nine and nine. That's 18. And then I'll need eight and eight. That's 16. 16 and 18. That is 16, 24. 34. Hmm. That is a lot. Of these things, 24, and they make 20. Um, they make four each. Hmm. Huh. It's five times, six times. And six of these, six and six, 36. Hmm. All right. Well, I did say I wanted to see how far I could get here. I don't see myself getting too far because I'm already running out of. Uh, I'm gonna actually just take the whole full stack of iron here. Because it doesn't look like uh, I'm going to have enough. I want to grab the rest of this iron and just dump it in here. See how many plates I can get. Um, I should only need 36 of these. So I can always use the rest for other stuff. But uh, just in case. I'm going to put this iron rails away. That pisses me off. I wasted that uh, refined iron there. Where I was so, I'm already so short in this kind of stuff. Um, wow. Okay. This is done already. That was quick. Um. This is going to take a while, so I'm just going to quickly make the casings for now. I need six of these. Um, I need six machine blocks and 24 circuits. So I'm already short in circuits as well. Um, I'm only going to make six machine blocks here so I don't waste too many. Oh, damn it. I forgot to put them in the buffer. This, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to when to use the buffer and when not to use the buffer. It's a bit of a pain. Um, let's make a few extra circuits here. Um, should be good. Uh, only, I should only need 24 of these. Um, oh well. I don't know if I'll, I'll need any more of that stuff. So let's see, I have 32. Showing you 36, so come on, two more. If I did the math right, which uh, we know how that happens. 6 and 6, 36, yeah, that should be good. So I'm just going to grab that. I don't, I don't want to waste too much. Um, let's see if I got this right. Casing. 24. Now... <laughs> Uh, did I do something wrong? Hold on, because, uh, nine at the bottom, no, no, it was 34, not 24, god dang it, well, uh, this episode's gone a little bit over, well, I already know how to make them, I already showed it on camera, so I guess for next time, I'll just have it already done, um, I think, it, yeah, it's 9 and 9, 18, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough, I have to make a few extra, um, but yeah, until next time, bye.